Unfortunately, at the moment, a lot of patients can't be seen by a dentist because of COVID-19. Some of my own patients have actually reached out and said, hey, Dr. Paul, what extra things can I do to stop my current holes getting worse or from new ones from forming in the meantime? So I thought, what better time to do a video on 11 simple steps that you can do to stop getting holes in your teeth right now. Number one, minimizing the frequency of any food or drink in your mouth that's not water. The reason being is that we have bacteria in our mouth and every time that we eat, the bacteria in our mouth also consume that food and they turn it into acid. This acid is hugely responsible for causing the holes in our teeth. So what we want to do is break up the frequency that food is actually in our mouth. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, and only water in between that. So if you're going to eat a bag of candy, don't have it throughout the entire day. Same with a can of Coke, don't have it through the entire day, have it all at once. Number two, now as hard as this is, especially for those with a sweet tooth, avoid the consumption of things that have high sugar, things like candy and soda. As much as they taste good, bacteria break them down really fast, turn them into acid really fast, really bad for our teeth. Number three, now if you do want to eat something that's got high sugar in it, combine it with a meal that you've just eaten. Because like we said, it's about acid exposure and frequency of food. So if you've just eaten dinner and you want to have dessert, don't wait an hour, have it straight after, combine it with your last meal. Number four, after eating or drinking something acidic, rinse your mouth with water. Things like citrus fruits or soda. Have some water afterwards, gets rid of that acid. Actually, if you want to go to that next level, after eating or drinking anything, you can rinse your mouth out with water to flush it away. Five, after eating, chewing sugar-free gum is a good way of getting food that's stuck on the biting surface of your teeth out and also stimulating saliva to flush out the food that's left. This is one that I recommend, it's sugar-free, and it's also got something in it called xylitol, which is actually really effective at stopping the bacteria that we spoke about before from producing that bad acid. So, I've got some links in the description as where you can buy those, and this is a little trick that I've learned. Phew. Actually, I do just want to point out the flavor with that xylitol isn't as good as what the other chewing gums are, and it might not last for as long, but any chewing gum that can literally stop you getting holes in your teeth, that's a plus in my books. Number six, brush your teeth twice a day. Morning and night, ideally two to three minutes. Basically, it gets rid of any leftover food that's in your mouth. There's also the plaque that adheres to the tooth, which we'll speak about in another video. Number seven, after your nighttime brush, don't eat anything. You've just made your mouth super pristine, really, really clean. You've got some fluoride in there, and then you've just gone and exposed it to food. That food's gonna sit there while you're sleeping, no saliva to flush it out, because you're asleep, and that's eight hours of constant acid on these teeth. It's so bad, please don't do it. Number eight, cleaning between your teeth at least once a day. As good as brushing is, the problem is that it can only really clean the outside, top, and inside surfaces, but can't clean in between the teeth. So what can happen is food can get stuck in between the teeth, get broken down by bacteria, turn into acid, leads to holes forming, gum disease, it's really, really bad for teeth. So using floss, interdental brushes, a toothpick if you have to, anything to get rid of that food in there, really, really good. People often ask me, Hey Paul, which teeth should I floss? The answer is simple. Only floss the teeth you want to keep. Watch out, fluoride alert! The next three are about fluoride. I know that some people are against it, so if you don't like it, skip ahead a minute or something. But as a dentist, the research says that fluoride is really, really good for making teeth stronger and better and less holes, which is what we want. Number nine, use a fluoride-containing toothpaste. Now, without getting into too many of the details, basically fluoride actually embeds itself into the tooth and makes it stronger than what it was before. That's pretty awesome. For anybody who has current holes in their mouth or you just want to take an extra precaution, you can actually get one with a higher concentration of fluoride. One that I recommend is this one here. It's Neutral 4 5000. I've got a link in the description where you can buy it or other high concentration fluorides. Number 10. After brushing, don't rinse your mouth out with water. Instead, just spit the toothpaste out. I know that you're like, oh, Dr. Paul, that's so gross. I get it. But what it actually does is it leaves a tiny, tiny little bit of fluoride on the teeth, which we just spoke about helps to strengthen them. It'll be weird for two or three days. You'll get used to it, trust me. It's so much better for your teeth. Number 11. For those that do want to use a mouthwash, use one that contains fluoride. Otherwise, you're essentially just washing off that beautiful fluoride that you just put on the teeth and you aren't getting any really benefits from it otherwise. So, what I recommend is say after you've nighttime brush and your morning brush, swish it for about 30 seconds and then spit it out. If you want another exposure, another good thing that you can do is to have it during the middle of the day, say just after you've eaten lunch. I put some links in the description as to where you can buy one that I recommend, Nutrifor 220, as well as some others that might help as well. So quickly, just to sum up. One, minimize the frequency of food and drink in your mouth that isn't water. Two, avoid food and drink that has high concentrations of sugar. Number three, if you want to eat something sugary, have it when you've just eaten something else. Four, after eating or drinking something acidic, wash your mouth out with water. Five, chewing sugar-free gum that contains xylitol after eating. Six, brush your teeth twice a day. Seven, don't eat anything after your nighttime brush. Eight, make sure you clean between your teeth at least once a day. 
9. Use a fluoride containing toothpaste. 10. Don't rinse your mouth after brushing, instead just spit the toothpaste out. Number 11. For those that like mouthwash, make sure it contains fluoride. Now, I know it might seem like a lot, but if you can do these 11 simple steps, it'll mean less decay in your mouth and less surprises at your next dental visit. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, Paul, it's just too much. I can't do all of this. Don't try and implement them all at once. Maybe do three a week until it becomes a habit and then go on to the next three, and then go on to the next three. And eventually you'll be doing all of them. It'll be a way of life and your teeth will say, thank you so much. For anyone who wants a more detailed version of this video, I'll be making that soon. And I'll put a link in the description and just here. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, it means a lot to me. If you think there's someone that you know that might benefit from it, please share it with them. Any questions or comments, put it in the comment section below, or you can send me an email. As always, keep on smiling.